Hey folks and welcome back. Today we're going to play around with this induction heater which I built some time back and it uses a feedback loop to monitor the resonance of this big tank circuit here which uh, consists of these four capacitors connected in parallel which gives about four microfarads and this um, 3 8 inch uh, copper coil and what I have here this white stuff is aluminum oxide, which is kind of like a fire blanket. And I'm putting this crucible in there. Now, we're going to activate the logic circuitry of this. So there it goes. That also runs a water pump, which pumps uh, cold water through this big coil. Here's my hand for comparison. And the scrap we're going to mount is this copper piping and this kind of malformed a uh, slug of copper that I melted before, but it had a bunch of bubbles in it. So I'm going to remelt this. And to help us with our melting process, we're going to use this borax, which reduces the copper oxide into copper metal and prevents, um, prevents it from oxidizing. And it also helps the copper pieces as they melt to uh, coalesce together. And I've got an amp meter here. This is a DC amp meter. And we're gonna run 170 volts through this resonant inverter here, which consists of these SKM 100 transistors. First of all, let's turn on our power over there. And I've got the 120 volt selected. So here goes. And it's on. Now let's check the current that we're drawing at 170 volts. So we're drawing just a little over, a little over five amps at 170 volts. And let me put my hand near this crucible. It's already starting to heat up. I can feel heat coming off it. And as I'd recently washed it, it's starting to steam, as you can see there. The crucible is starting to glow cherry red now. And our current is still, it's about coming up to about seven amps at 170 volts. So we're gonna put our first piece of copper in and that's gonna change the resonant frequency of the coil. So I'm gonna do that right now. There it is. Now, we will plan to melt this big piece. Let's see what our current looks like. And it's closer to about 10 amps now, after adding the copper. And here's our voltage. Close to 170 volts. There's a bit of water in that piece of copper because I just washed it. And that's what's coming out. The energy from this inverter is transferred to the tank circuit, which is these caps here and this coil via this uh, transformer. So this is a coupling transformer made of ferrite and covered in Litz wire. It's got about 14 turns of Litz wire on it. The copper is now starting to glow pretty brightly, but it's not yet melted. And my current draw is still about just over a tiny bit above 10 amps. Here it goes, melting. I'm gonna stick some borax in it now.
Let's get some protective gloves on. Okay, let's add some more copper to it. It's pretty hard, so I'm going to turn off the main power. Now, in order to get the copper out of the crucible, I'm going to need something to pull it out with. So I'm going to use this piece here. I'm going to dissolve this in it and then use this to pull it out. Here goes. Hopefully it'll solidify before it's all gone underneath it. I think it's started to solidify right now. There it goes. Let me change the camera setter. Now you can see it better. Now we're going to remove it from the coil. Here it goes. It's pretty hot. Let's feel the coil. That is cool. Well, there you go, a simple homemade induction heater. That's probably around two pounds over there.
Thanks for watching folks and if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm going to put a link on on how to make this thing as well.